Good morning, guys. So this video is going to talk about the assignment number six. So before this time, you should have um, viewed these uh, tutorials that I uh, found on YouTube. These are about the Pixlr to tools. So you have a uh, toolbar overview part one and toolbar overview part two. So this assignment number six, I got inspired by watching those little couple minute videos, just kind of refreshing um, my knowledge of these toolbars. And so what we're going to do is we're going to play around with distortion. So I thought it was cool. There was this one part of video two or part two that had this little kid with a magnifying glass and they, and they made it look like it's enlarging. So I kind of got inspired by that. So we're going to play around with the distort tool and we're going to create the illusion of uh, there being a sort of a distortion with some sort of glass. So what I'm going to provide for you on here is going to be two images. One's going to be a, a glass and the other one's going to be the magnifying glass. And so you're going to have to download those. You're also going to have to download, um, you know, an image of a picture that you have on your phone or you could find it off the internet. So you're going to need a picture for your subject and then you're going to need a picture, one of either the magnifying glass or the regular glass. You could do both. I want you to just uh, take this opportunity to explore since this is the last assignment for the marking period um, and I, I'm not going to really have you guys hand this in until Monday at the latest. So, you know, I really want you to kind of spend some time on it and play around. So even if you get the assignment done, let's say, you can absolutely play around with Distort and even the other tools from part one and part two have at it, you know, like this is how you're going to learn. <clears throat> We're going to be using Pixlr from this point forward until we can get back to school. <clears throat> so we, you know, I really want you to be pretty proficient with the tools. So with that being said, you're going to be using Pixlr E. So when you do go to the Pixlr website, make sure you are selecting E and you are going to, um, like I said, download these two images. So they won't be showing up here. Um, I am going to have a video showing you guys just a review on how to download things off the internet. If you go back to February 28th, I'm sorry, not off the internet, off of a, off a of classroom. Um, February 28th, we did the inspirational ransom notes and I had that image of all those cut letters. So, um, I do have that video that just shows you how to download images that you get from classroom. So the demonstration video that I have is doing the, whatchamacallit, the, <clears throat> that, that, uh, image with all of those squares, but the same, <clears throat> excuse me, the same rules are going to apply when you're downloading the two uh, different kinds of glass. But what you're going to start with is an image that you're going to get off the internet. Now I'm going to do the magnifying glass with a face. So I just went and um, looked around for some images. So I popped over to iCloud and I found a picture of my brother from Christmas. <laughs> so anyway, this is Bill. Um, he's weird because he's one of my big brothers. He's the middle kid. Um, so anywho, so you can play around with liquify. It looks like the little swirly lines you have from the video. You saw you had a bunch of different methods and you also have these, these, uh, changes, uh, these modifications or size, their strength and density automatically. They are they're It's 50, 50, 50. So what I do find is, here. let's just review a bit. So I'm going to zoom into his his nose, mouth area. Okay. So what you can do to kind of just get a feel for it is mess with the density. So the density is 50% and I'm using the push method, which is letting me kind of slide something over. So you can see when the density is at 49%, this is what happens. So now if I move the density to a hundred percent or you know, close to a hundred, it, it looks like it pushes it a lot more aggressively and there's more stuff that's being pushed. Whereas if I move the density to zero, and again, you try this on your own, it doesn't seem to be moving that quickly, which is kind of nice because if you want to really have a decent amount of control 
over your picture. Yeah, you guys are going to have some fun today. Um, you can certainly um, move the density down lower, um, whereas the density set up higher is going to really move things probably a bit too quickly. Now I'm going to go down to history here and I'm just going to go back to open image and it'll set it back to the beginning before I started messing with his face. Um, so swirl left. As I click here and the density is set at low, you can see it's kind of swirling it around. You have to move the mouse a bit. Again, you're going to be playing with this and you know you could try the size, see what happens when you change the size and it's just a larger image. So um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll, as soon as I get something that's perfected, I write those numbers down. There's no harm in it. So strength is just the aggressiveness of it. So if I move the aggressiveness to 100, you could see it does it way too quickly. It's almost like you really have a lack of control of what's going on. So if I move the strength down, yeah, it does it a little less aggressively. So again, you just kind of have to get a feel for it. That actually is pretty good. So, um, all right, enough of this, Bill. So um, what I'm going to do is I want to use the enlarge tool and I'm going to just enlarge it a bit so it looks like there's a magnifying glass in front. So before I do anything, I'm going to open up the magnifying glass image and put it on top of his face. I'm going to have to send him this picture or this uh, video. Um, so to open up an image, um, a, a layer on top, instead of going to File and Open, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit this plus right here. And it's going to add. ask me what kind of layer do I want to add. I want to add an image. And you should have this already downloaded before you do this. I put mine on the desktop and I have the magnifying glass. They're both PNGs, by the way. You can see here, they're both PNG images, which means that there's a lot of transparency to it. If I make it Bill's picture invisible, you can see that there's a lot of see-through stuff. There's a bit of a, of a little glazy kind of stuff on top of the magnifying glass. And it really makes a, a really nice illusion that there's really glass in front of it. So I'm just going to get it to be the right size here. You know, I can make the magnifying glass as big or as small as I want. Later on, I can crop this picture because let's say that I don't want this magnifying glass to look like it's just hanging in thin air. Um, I can absolutely crop the picture just to kind of get, you know, up to his shoulders or something. So I can put the magnifying glass in place. You can make it as big or as small as you want. So now I'm going to go to liquify and I'm going to go to background. And again, I'm going to play around with the idea of getting his face um, you know, that part of his face bigger. And you can always hit control. Um, you can always hit control Z. Control Y, if you go back too many spots, control Y will um, redo something. So I'm going to increase the strength a little bit. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. The density, I'll kick up a little bit. And again, it's going to be like a trial and error kind of thing and see if you can get this to look as though his face is, that part of the face is getting bigger. It doesn't seem to be working right now. Well, let's try this again. Oh, wait, there it goes. It might be just glitchy. Let's try it one more time. Wait for it. Let's try zooming in. Let's go back to liquify. Make sure that you're on the correct layer. Oh, that's better. Okay. So it is happening. I just have to play around with some of these numbers here to get it the way that I want. And once you have it, you are good to go. Okay. And that's it. So play around with it. And as I said before, if you wanted to do um, instead of having that, sorry about that, instead of having that glass, magnifying glass, if you want to go with the, uh, this glass here, you can just, again, put it in front of the person and you can kind of size it up and yeah, maybe we'll have it kind of like really large 
um, and then you can distort it. Now, it might help to kind of Google up uh, distortion through glass to kind of get an idea of what you want might want to do with the face. Maybe we want to like shrink it up a little bit. Maybe we want to, you know, make an, a new layer and try to, you know, stretch it out a little bit. So I do want you kind of playing around with it. And again, some of you guys just want to stay close to the vest and, and do things really, really conservative. Um, my advice to you is you, you got nothing but time, so I would absolutely play around. So if you decide to do this distortion to make it look as though your brother is, is kind of like behind some glass distorted, you can absolutely have at it. And you know, find a, find a method that works best for you and create that illusion of him behind that glass. Now, you have an entire week to do this project. Like, I'm not going to be asking you to, to hand anything in until Monday. So I would like you to spend like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes a day. You know, some days you can skip or whatever, but you know, a decent amount of time just kind of creating this, this illusion. You know, do some research, look at Look at distortion through glass and see what, you know, see what kind of things you can do. You can always undo and you can always go back to history and, you know, when you first had this image here before the liquify, you can, you can try again and keep on working. So what I want to see is I want to see the glass as a new layer on top of the face and then I want to see the face distorted in some way, okay? Um, if you hand this in today and it looks like it's kind of like a shoddy job, like kind of quick, I'm going to kick it back at you and say, you know, I need you to spend a little bit more time on it. If you hand it in on Monday and it still looks like it was, looks like it was done in three minutes, again, I'm going to call you out on it and ask you to re uh, refresh it a little bit, do a little bit of something different, try a different one. But if you um, hand it in later on this week and it looks like you spent a long time or you submit a couple different ones, Please be, feel free. You don't have to use a face. You can use um, any sort of image. If you have your a nice picture of your puppy dog or your cat and you want to put him behind a glass or magnifying glass and distort it, that's completely fine. I just happen to use my weird brother uh, for this uh, assignment. Um, and please feel free to ask me any questions at all. Uh, but I do want it to look as though you put some a decent amount of time into this since I'm giving you a, an entire week to get this project done. Okay, but I do also want you to have fun with it. Submit, um, you know, a lot of exploration kind of images if you want. You don't have to just submit one image. If you did something kind of funny and you don't even put the glass on it, submit it to me. I'd love to see this stuff, okay? So good luck with it all, and uh, you know how to get in touch with me. Enjoy.